everybody, it's your girl, Ari. Welcome back to another Late Nights with Ari. Guys, welcome back to Cooking with Ari. It's been so long since I've done a cooking video for you guys. And the last time I checked, someone, maybe you watching, asked me to do salmon. And this was like months ago, and I forgot to do it, and I'm so sorry. But not only am I making salmon today, I got you. I'm gonna do stuffed salmon. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you go ahead and like this video and leave some comments down below. All right, let's get, let's go. Okay, guys, so before we even get into every single thing, the salmon, we need to go over the ingredients that you're gonna need. Everything is basic, everything is simple. You can do it. It don't matter who you are. You should be able to do this at home, okay? So we have our salmon. I'm only doing two pieces of salmon, guys, because it's just going to be me and my honey today. So, yeah. And, y'all, salmon is expensive. I don't know what's going on, but salmon is expensive. And make sure you're not getting farm-raised salmon, okay? Get the good stuff. This is farm-raised. <laughs> but anyway, I do have my chopped spinach. This is what's gonna go into this stuffing uh, mixture that's gonna go in between the salmon. It's gonna be, it's gonna be so freaking good. You, y'all, make sure you got the spinach. You can't do stuffed salmon without the spinach, okay? And this is gonna be like a basic recipe as well. I have some chopped onions, yeah. We have some minced garlic. We have uh, chipotle pepper. We have regular pepper. We have uh, crushed red peppers. Y'all know I like a little spice in my food. Um, I do have the pink salt, Himalaya salt. It's so much better than regular salt. Onion powder, garlic powder, and um, garlic salt, as well as our cream cheese. The cream cheese is the star of the show, guys. If you don't got the cream cheese, you in trouble because that's what's going to make it stuff. But yeah, so... The next thing that we want to do is go ahead and get that mixture together. So guys, follow me over to the oven. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to be using my cast iron skillet. It's been a long time since I actually used this skillet. But we are going to be using grapeseed oil. I'm going to just kind of like coat the bottom of this pan pretty good. And then we are going to start to saute our onions. So... You gotta hear the sizzle, the sizzle is the best part. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to stack these together. And then pretty much just saute your onions. Like you want to saute your onions to the point where they're nice and soft because this is going to get mixed into that um, that cream cheese, guys. Yeah, so you gotta make sure it's nice and soft. You don't want your onions to be too hard. So while that onion is kind of like cooking down, I am gonna season it with that salt. So I'm just gonna go in and just put a, just a little bit, a little bit, <laughs> not too much. And then I am gonna use a little bit of pepper. And y'all, I'm gonna mix that in. Once it's kind of cooked down, we will start to add in our garlic as well as our spinach. So. Give me a minute, guys. I'm going to let this cook down, and I'm going to show you the next step. So the whole time that you are sauteing your onions, oh, yeah, I had to switch to something a lot softer because you're really not supposed to use, like, a spatula this hard, like a metal inside of this because it just messes it up. But you do want to make sure that you are, like, literally moving it around the entire time. That way that it don't burn because if it starts to kind of burn, it's really not going to taste right. Unless you just like that burnt taste, but... Y'all, we're making salmon, okay? Salmon is supposed to be nice, fresh, and fancy. <laughs> so we don't want nothing burnt in the salmon at all. So I'm pretty much just hanging out at the stove, just working it. Okay. Y'all, this wine is good, okay? So the onions is sauteed to my liking, okay? I don't think it's been about six minutes. And what I'm going to do is take this spinach... And just sprinkle it in. And we do have to let the spinach kind of cook down. And it literally, it don't take a long time to cook down either. Like, just watch it. And keep rotating it around in this pan. See, it's already cooking down. Y'all see that? You got that go. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to be so good. Y'all have to have, 
If I told y'all this was my first time nigga still sending, would you believe me? <laughs> it's our first time. It's our first time making stuff tell me, y'all. We gonna, we gonna try it together. It's gonna be our first time. Not my first time having it, but yeah, it's my first time actually making it. Um, so I'm excited to see what happens. But it's literally already cooked down. That's good enough for me. I got my oven preheated because once we really kind of go in and cook the salmon, I do have to put it in the oven. And as y'all can see, I got some potatoes cooking. Yeah, it's gonna come together. So y'all gonna see that in just a second. But yeah, so we back at the counter, guys. I do have my cream cheese. What I'm going to do is go ahead and kind of smash up this cream cheese a little bit. Um, you do want to make sure that this is pretty much sitting out all day before you kind of smash it up, okay? Because it would be nice and soft and it would be easier to use, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and dump in. Ooh, look at that. I can't wait, y'all. It's going to be really good. So this is the onions. Ooh the um spinach y'all i really i wish i could have like like a blender or something i need like a blender y'all this is what you call hood meals you know you when you hood it, like you don't even be having all the cooking utensils like <laughs> but everything is actually mixing up pretty easy so that's really good i do want to add some garlic into this originally i was supposed to add my garlic paste and it did not happen so we're gonna just add a little bit of this minced garlic. I should have grabbed me a spoon, but I'm just gonna, it's just me. Cause I love garlic. Like I love to have that garlic taste in pretty much everything. Like if I don't have garlic, I will die. I will pretty much just die. But I'm gonna mix this up really well. And what I'm gonna do is place it into the refrigerator for about 10 to 15 minutes to kind of let everything kind of combine again before we stuff it and then while that's doing that we're gonna go ahead and season this salmon and get that cooking up so give me just one second go ahead and cut our little pockets into the salmon some people like to do that last like they'll season it and then cut the pockets to me it just personally does not make sense so what i do is right in the middle here I just place my knife and I go down just a tad bit, maybe like an inch. And I don't want to go too far over. You want to focus that pocket right into the thick side, okay? Because if you do it towards the end, it's just going to rip open and it's kind of pointless. And then same thing on this other one, maybe about one inch. Make your nice little pocket. I heard the knife hit the back of the plate just mean I probably went too far back on that one. And there's that slit just like that. Let me wash my hands. Okay, so I went ahead and washed my hands, guys. So don't shoot me in the comments. I'm going to put the same seasonings all around the salmon, guys, okay? So we're going to start out with the onion powder. I like to put a good generous amount, okay? And pretty much do what you like, okay? I, I love me some onion powder. Oh, this is actually onion powder. I love onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, Cajun, everything. I like my food seasoned. So if I come to your house and you try to cook for me and the food ain't seasoning, I'm going to know because I like seasoning. <laughs> All right. So this powder with, what is this? Garlic powder. Mm. And it already smells good. If you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned. And I'm not sneezing, so we need more seasoning. <laughs> okay. This is the garlic salt. Y'all, we ain't going to be heavy on the salt. Mm -mm. No ma'am. No ma'am. Um, we're going to go into the Chipotle chili pepper baby what was i about to do put this pot back on honey do it the right way y'all this is gonna add that color mm. yeah when it gets stirred in that pan it's gonna be bomb back huh? yeah yeah i like the pepper so we're gonna we're gonna put a good amount our red pepper crushed red peppers y'all look we're gonna put the crushed red peppers inside the little pocket We want to make sure that's in there. I need that heat to come out. And then a little bit on the outside. And you do got to smush it. Smush it in there. Them pebbles don't be trying to stick. Y'all know. Y'all know. If you ever cook with crushed red pebbles, you know those pebbles don't be sticking to your food. I don't even know why we be using it. <laughs> but we know we like it for whatever reason. Like, it don't stick to the food. I only got one pepper on her. I'm, I'm, look, one pepper. But yeah. Oh, I need my salt. So regular pepper 
pull the little crunch, and we need some salt. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to flip it over and season this side. Oh, also, if you want to take the um, skin off, that's totally up to you. I love the skin on my salmon. Like, the skin on the salmon is... <sighs> Y'all, and it's nutrition, okay? It's got a lot of nutrition in it, but it's the bomb. Baby, do you like some, the, the skin on your salmon? Yep. Whatever. You just saying whatever, because you know I'm not going to take it off. But I'm going to season the back of the salmon, and I'm going to meet you guys over at the stove. Okay, so I'm back at the stove, and we are going to put a tad bit more of that grapeseed oil back in the same pan that we used. We did not clean it out. All the flavors from before is literally sitting right there. And I'm also going to go into this a garlic paste, okay? I was supposed to use this earlier, but we're not going to leave no ingredients out. Like I said, I love the taste of garlic. It just adds all the flavors that you really need to taste. So I'm just going to kind of mix that at the bottom of the pan. Remember when I said not to use this? We're not using it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't feel like going over to the same. We're just going to work it with it. But I have this. I have a spoon. We're going to open up those pockets and stuff this inside. I definitely have more than I actually need because, like I said, I'm only making two. So be very cautious with that. And we're just going to kind of stuff these into the pockets. Ooh. Exciting. Ah, it might run. I don't know, y'all. This is my first time making. Oh no, face down. So the skin part is going to be up. I think I could have made this paste a little thicker because it's like already kind of. Or maybe I overstuffed it. I'm just going to pull a little bit of that out. This is very realistic. <laughs> like, it's, like, you never try to make something too perfect to the point where when it's time to actually execute, it doesn't execute. Yeah, those. That's, this is one of those moments. But I wasn't kidding when I said this is my first time making. So you guys have seen me make this for the first time. So I kind of stuff that pocket. Yeah. And face down. And we are going to let that cook on each side for maybe probably about three to five minutes. We want to make sure it's nice and stirred because we are going to place it into the oven too, okay? So I'll be back in just a second and show you what it's looking like. It's been about three minutes and we are going to go ahead and flip it. Y'all, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. So the sides, you gotta be really careful when you flip it. Like you wanna make sure you don't like squeeze all of that in. Oh my God, that looks perfect. Yes, that looks, that looks good, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing, I should've put like a little napkin here, but I didn't guys, so don't judge me. Um, I'm gonna take my stick of butter and I'm just gonna place some butter in here on each side and just kind of let that sit for just a bit like two more minutes Ooh, y'all so this is what it's looking like so far so we are going to place this in the oven at 350 degrees for another 10 minutes guys and i will see you when we're on the plate okay y'all so i am done like this looks really really good and i cannot wait to try it i did make some creamy potatoes on the side guys with the salmon it's nice and stuff the actual the cream cheese and the stuff and stuff whatever it was it did not run like i thought it was going to so we are going to take i don't even know where the white at y'all it looks so good i guess we want to get a little bit of everything Ooh, this is cooked perfectly look at that it's not dry at all. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did that. Oh, this is good. Let me mix it in with the potatoes. Mm. Yeah. It's a slap recipe. We're gonna have to, we're gonna do this again and I'm gonna put a little twist to it because this was so good. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna finish drinking my wine. I had a long day, guys. 
I'm gonna eat my dinner and it's time to relax. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.